When I'm going in the trenches, I play against and with all these guys. I'm going with who I know. Every single night, that responsibility to go out there and represent greatness every single night. So Steph Curry shouldn't be offended when he watches this. I hope not. He's still a great player. Not a Hall of Famer yet, though. <laughs> He's not. Michael Jordan is arguably the greatest basketball player ever. 6-0 in the finals, never saw a game seven, fifth all-time in points, yada, yada. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter we have ever seen. His accolades are a plenty, sitting fifth all-time in three-point percentage and less than 500 made threes away from passing Ray Allen for most all-time. He has overcome ankle problems that we thought would have derailed his career many years ago. And what we saw in this interview on today was a glimpse of Michael Jordan, ultimate competitor. It's the competitive fire of old reignited with one question. MJ is the kind of guy who will not give dudes props even when his career is over. Just watch his Hall of Fame speech, for Christ's sake. The question that was asked, is Stephen Curry a Hall of Famer? Is fodder for sports radio and ESPN today. It's a soundbait for a goat poo-pooing on, in his mind, youngsters when really they're veterans. Steph Curry, as I said previously, has the numbers. Two-time MVP, three-time champion. Seems likely to hold every meaningful three-point record in league history by the time he hangs him up. He's already third all-time in made threes. However, let's rewind. NBC's Craig Melvin asked MJ who his all-time starting five is. If you could pick four guys for your pickup team, four guys that you play anybody else with, Hakeem Olajuwon, Magic Johnson, and Scottie Pippen, and James Worthy. That was six years ago. Lots happened in the league in six years. Would you keep the same four? In a heartbeat. When I'm going in the trenches, I played against and with all these guys. I'm going with who I know. All obviously superb picks, unchanged from his original picks in 2013. However, there are holes in his starting five, like no Kobe Bryant, no LeBron James, no Kevin Durant, to name a few. So when LeBron overcame a 3-1 deficit to the greatest regular season team who beat Michael Jordan's team 72-10 for 73-9, the Golden State Warriors, LeBron said this. That one so right there made me the greatest player of all time. For That's so what many I felt. reasons. Jordan clapped back at James saying, I would never say I'm the greatest player. Jordan made it a point to say he cringes when he hears others call him the greatest. In other words, unlike LeBron, there's no need for Jordan to call himself the greatest when others do it for him. Again, Frank Isola via The Athletic. What I told them, it's been an amazing journey being a warrior for you know these 12 and a half years and all the guys that have set screens for me, that have passed me the ball, that have bought into the system that, you know, creates that beautiful warrior you know, style and brand of basketball, all that plays into this moment. So I hope that they uh, appreciate it as much as I do. All right, so in the most vintage Steph way possible, he credited those who set the screens, got him prepared, delivered the assists, even if they didn't show up in the box score. It was the most Steph thing ever. And by the numbers, what Wardell has done is flat out outrageous. So he broke Reggie Miller's record, and then he passed Jesus Shuttlesworth's record, Ray Allen's record. Last night at the Garden, it was awesome to watch. And he did so in 511 less games. So just a few numbers. He has made a three-pointer in 152 consecutive games, a streak that started in December 2018. That streak is only second to some other guy named Stephen Curry with 157 games with at least one three-pointer from 2014 to 2016. The top five slots for most three-pointers made in a season, four of them are held by Stephen Curry. The other is James Harden, who is number two. Uh, his career 43.1% from deep ranks number one among the hundreds of NBA players with at least 1,000 career threes made. And his effect on the game is just that. It is revolutionary, which is a word you'll hear a lot. Because when he entered the NBA, teams were taking about 18 threes a game. Now that's doubled, according to the Wall Street Journal. In 2019, he was in the top 10 for most miles ran per game. You see him running around screens left and right. He's the seventh player ever to post a 50-40-90. He led Golden State to a 73-9 record. Of course, we know what happened with Kyrie's great shot. And he's the only MVP to be named a unanimous selection. He hit 40% of his threes. And look, if he stays healthy, 5,000 could be in reach. 